Are you looking to learn how to get your first cloud architect job, especially when you have limited experience? Do you want to learn how to use social media to increase your chances of getting a job? Well, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Architects and we're an organization dedicated towards building high performance cloud computing careers. If you like our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can find new videos just like this. The impetus to make today's video was a post that I saw on LinkedIn. Someone had posted to a group and they had posted what I call the most dangerous social media post ever and I don't ever want you to make this mistake because it will keep you from getting cloud hired. And what this person had done is they had posted to a large group and they had said, please help me. I've been rejected 23 times and they had sample rejection letters attached to this post. And they said, please hire me because I've been rejected 23 times. And I looked at this post and I went, oh my God, I feel so bad. I wish I could have had a conversation with this person ahead of time. And then I thought, well, if this person would do this, maybe a lot of people would do this. And we are big fans of using social media to get your name out there and help you find a job. But we want you to do it in a special way. So what was so dangerous about everybody's rejected me, please hire me? Two things. People like scarce resources. People like things that are wanted and people like things that are in demand. And the second you post that everybody else didn't want me, the hiring manager or the HR person is gonna look at that post and say, Oh my God, there must be something wrong with them. 23 people didn't want them. Hmm. There's gotta be something wrong. So uh, let's, let's just avoid this. So right then and there, you basically took the scarcity, uh, capacity of your uh, away and you took the ability of the being wanted or the desirable qualities about the, yourself and completely thrown them away, which basically means that for the most part, you're unhirable. But there was one other part of this that was so dangerous. I have talked about going to social media and leveraging the community to help you find a job. And that's great. But I would never say, please hire me ever, ever, ever. See, as a hiring manager, I don't want to hire people. I hire people for this reason. I have business challenges and I need people to help me do them. If I could do it all myself and not have to worry about anything, I would. But I can't and that's why I need a team. I need a team of people that make me better. I need someone that's different than me, someone that's more creative because that way we're more creative. I need someone that's more mathematical to me because I'm more verbal and that's gonna make us better. I might need somebody to do some scripting because I don't like scripts. So let that person do the scripting for me. All great things. But the point is I wanna make my team better and I hire people to make things better. And because I hire people to make things better, I don't just hire people. So if that person was to have posted on social media, I have expertise in X, Y, Z. I can help your organization. As a hiring manager, I'm gonna say, wow, this person's looking at it from my perspective. Look at what they have to offer me. Let me go call that person. Let me schedule an interview. But if I say, please hire me, now I'm a beggar. And people tend not to like a beggar. And if I say I've been rejected in the past, that will instantly crush my career because it's gonna make me look unwanted and undesirable. So. The takeaways from this experience are when you post on social media, everything you do should shine you in your best light. Everything you do should show that you're someone that should be taken seriously. Everything that you should do should show that you are a wonderful cloud architect. And everything that you do as a cloud architect and showing your depth as a cloud architect should be able to be put into words from the hiring manager and say, wow, this person can help me. This person knows exactly what it takes to help grow my team and grow my business and I have to have them and you know what? I'll pay them more than I was planning because that person, that one person is gonna be the person that I can not only solve my problems but can care about my business and can make my business grow because they put it in my terms, how they can help me. People like generous people, people do not like selfish people. So if you say hire me, you're looking selfish. If you say I can help you, then you're someone to be taken seriously. Please check out one of our webinars, the link is in the description below, where we teach you how to go from cloud certified to cloud hired as part of the Go Cloud Architects How to Get Your First Cloud Job Program. The link is in the description below. Wanted to let you know that we have a free AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate eBook, the link is in the description below. 
we wanted to produce a very high quality free training program to enable people to get AWS certified as an AWS certified solution architect associate. So the link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. We look forward to seeing you in another video where we'll give you tips and tricks on building your cloud architect career. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see you soon.